Zach Levine has missed time with an injury and will be out for the foreseeable future. DeMar DeRozan also just came back from an injury and this has resulted in the 23-year-old Kobe White getting more opportunity and freedom than ever before, which means more on-ball responsibility. And he has been on a tear ever since. Four games thus far in December, he's averaging 24.7 points, 5.7 5.7 assists, and 7.3 rebounds per game while shooting 52% from the field and 59% from three. It's safe to say Chicago has found their direction and starts with Kobe White. He needs to be given the keys full time based on his production and the film. He has instantly become one of my favorite players to watch in the NBA, and you will see why in this video. He has 22 three-pointers in the last four games, 5.5 made threes a game. That makes him a weapon off ball. Help off of him one pass away, it will be an issue. The Pelicans learn the hard way. Alex Caruso dancing in the pick and roll. Herb Jones helps too much. You can't do that. Herb's seven foot wingspan ain't doing nothing. He's not gonna feel that contest because he has flawless form. Now, Dyson Daniels is ball watching. That's an easy three. This man will provide great spacing for any lineup he's in. Herb, what are you doing? You can't give him that space, but the point of this play is to show off the range well beyond the three point line over one of the best perimeter defenders in the league like it's nothing. Then later in the game, Craig, offensive rebound, pass out to White, and he pulls from the logo. Are you kidding me? He's one of the best floor spacers in the game right now because he has a limitless range and he has confidence in his shot. Look at where he pulls up to end the half against the Milwaukee Bucks. Speechless, I'm speechless, but fourth in the league currently, he is with 74 three-pointers made. Man, oh man, get this guy in the three-point contest immediately. But don't get it twisted. He's got a bag, so he can create his own shot off the dribble as well. In early transition, he's looking right to fool Herb. Quick crossover versus speed. Left, stop on a dime between the legs. Sidestep, plenty of space created. Eat this three-pointer, he whispers to his defender. Last 10 games, he has shot 26 pull-up three-pointers. He has made 12 of them, which is 46.2%. Over the season, he's taken 40, made 16, 41%. That extra freedom got him launching from deep off the dribble lately, and he's doing it very efficiently. And of course, when he's doing all of that, he's going to draw closeouts, and he's great at fooling defenders to open up driving lanes. Here, off ball, he catches Jab Step Rooney. Got Alvarado dancing. Drive left, opens up, and the rest is history. He uses his size to finish for two. Here, on ball, he draws two defenders. He slows up and looks left like he's passing. Nope, it's an in and out hesitation dribble. Free driving lane opened up, which allows him to finish at the rim. And here, he pass fakes, Lillard reacts. More importantly, Lopez takes another step as well, clearing space for the drive. He then smartly takes it, de-accelerates, fades away, which creates space for him to get a shot off versus Brook Lopez, who leads the league in blocks per game. Very, very impressive finish from him at the rim. I love his hesitation. And it only works because Brook Lopez, in his head, knows he's fully capable of pulling up from any distance. Psych! See you later. The rest is history. Here's a play that shows why I'm in love with watching his film. He's got elite body movement comboed with a great handle, some nice footwork as well. Most underrated ball handling aspect that gets the defender to do what you want is body movement, and he has it. On this play, he has every defender he faces on a string. He creates contact, and based on his body, all signs point towards he's going right. Nope, stop on a dime, behind the back, campaign is lost. Now, we stop it here, his body is indicating to the defender he's pulling up for the midi. Nope, in and out, now he gets to the exact spot he wants. Fade away, in rhythm, confident bucket. Handle, footwork, pace were impeccable on that play. And officially, we have went over clips where he scored from the perimeter, and I mean deep from the perimeter. Then we showcase his skills to get to the basket and finish off the catch or off the dribble. 
And now we see he has a solid mid-range jumper. Kobe White, as of now, is a threat to score from any distance. Keep in mind, he's only 23 years of age. If the Bulls allow him the freedom he's had recently, that's when he will adapt that star-level confidence consistently. And that's when we will sit here and say sky's the limit for his offensive ability because he can get it done from anywhere. And lately, he's also showing signs of taking a step playmaking-wise. He's nothing crazy in that regard, but very capable and will improve as he gets more consistent freedom and on-ball responsibility. Last seven games, he's averaging five assists per game. Overall, this season, he's second on the team in assists per game only behind DeMar DeRozan. This is probably my favorite play showcasing his best trait passing wise. He takes Middleton off the dribble, gets stopped, but he hits the up and under. Beautiful footwork, by the way. He creates some space. Immediately, he realizes Lopez will commit to him and try to block that shot, and he finds Torrey Craig. Unfortunately, Craig fumbled the finish, but as you see, he has instincts in there to find his guys when he draws attention very quickly. Pretty clear the Bulls should move on from DeMar and Zach Levine to get as much future assets as possible and to start the rebuild with Kobe White getting the keys to truly see what his offensive potential is because in that role, you're going to find out his negatives and positives very, very consistently and that's when you're really going to get the answer of how good he can be. Let me know your thoughts below. That's all I got. If you enjoyed at any point, remember to leave a like and subscribe. If you got time, check out my other videos. And more importantly, have yourself a great day and peace out.